This is Dave from Motiboto, and I'm really proud to announce the launch of Motiboto Basic software for Lightroom. Everybody who uses Lightroom probably has a love-hate relationship with the sliders just like I do. And the love part is that it's just so easy to start twiddling with a slider and seeing the change in real time. But the hate part comes really soon after editing a couple images because of the visual ping pong you need to play to move the slider, to look back at your image, to move the next slider, look back at your image, to move the next slider, etc. What if I told you that instead of moving the sliders, you could touch type all of the basic adjustments literally at your fingertips. Well, that's exactly what Motiboto Basic does for you. Let's take a look without and with Motiboto to see what exactly it does and why you need it. First of all, let's edit this image without Motiboto Basic. Traditionally, what you need to do is look at the image and say, hmm, image, this needs a little bit more exposure. And then what you do is move your mouse and your eye over to the exposure slider and then grab it and increase it just a little bit. Your eye moves back to the image and then, yeah, that's all right. And then you let go of your mouse and then your eye goes back and say, hmm, I need contrast. Then I can move my mouse and my eye back to the contrast slider, increase it just a little bit. My eye goes back to the image and then I've decided, yeah, that's enough. And then I let go of the contrast slider and then repeat and rinse ad nauseum. Now I've reset the image and with Motiboto, I've got my fingers right at my keyboard. And Dave, how do you know what every key does? Well, with the keyboard shortcut in Motiboto, basic, what you can do is call up this key legend and that tells you exactly what every key does. So right now I can literally just type in minus exposure plus exposure, minus white plus white, temperature, tint, shadow, black, clarity, vibrance, high um, contrast, as well as the saturation. So everything is literally at my fingertips and I'm literally just finishing the image by keeping my eye on the picture. So once you get used to it, it's so easy. Watch this. So I, if I want exposure, I just tap, tap, tap. I want some more fill. I'm going to tap some fill, add some contrast, add some clarity. I'm going to bring down the whites and a little bit of the highlights and I'm done. That's how easy it is with Motiboto Basic. And it gets even better because what if, let's say you shot an image and it's a little bit underexposed, um, like uh, let's say this image over here. As they're walking out, they're dancing, this beautiful Persian wedding, but it's a little bit underexposed. So instead of having to you know, tap on my plus exposure 10 times, I can press and hold the shift key and all of those basic adjustments also allow me to make bigger changes instead of minor changes. So I can tap until I get close and then I can re refine my change. And now I'm just going to add a lot of warmth to that and add some um, shadow detail and I'm done. And those are the basics of Motiboto Basic. After retouching a couple dozen images, I'm pretty sure you'll be touch typing images just like I do in Lightroom. So thanks for watching. You can find out more information at motiboto.com and God bless.